No? No reaction? <coughs> Don't you guys love it? Oh, who, pu who brings a baby to these videos? Come on! Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! Hasn't it been interesting? Oh, another week has come to a close. Another week on my facial hair growth. It's amazing the amount of colors I'm growing. I've got ginger hairs, blonde hairs, brown hairs. Before we get into this video, do not forget to lug hair. Go to the link in the description down below and click on that link. Uh, and it will take you into the game. Whatever device you play Jurassic World Alive on, uh, Open it on that device and it will take you to Jurassic World Live and you will get 50 free bucks. And with that out of the way, let's go on to what's coming up this week. Haha, <laughs> here we go. So it is the Pterosaur and Cutie. Super kawaii. Totemo kawaii desu ne. Hi. Uh, event we've got going from April 27th to May 3rd. Oh, oh God, May 3rd. <laughs> uh, so on Monday to Tuesday, we have Dimorphodon and Hatsagoptrix, uh, which is... I, I guess okay. I don't think any of them are really needed for any crazy hybrids, are they? Maybe the Hatsukoptrix is. Uh, Wednesday to Friday, which is the rares, is... Oh, well, they're all flyers. Uh, Scapagonathus, Quetzalcoatlus, Sungopterus, uh, Arambogyna. Oh, well, I've never heard... I've never said that out loud. <laughs> and Tupendactylus. Out of those, I mean, you can go for whatever you want. I would probably say Quetzal and Sundopterus are probably one of the ones you want to get because Quetzal is used for Quetzal Ryan, of course. And Sundopterus is kind of a rare one to come by. Uh, and it does have a hybrid that is kind of underutilized because I think it got a nerf, the decelerating counter. Uh, but the one you'll be waiting for Saturday, Sunday, Pteranodon again! For like the fourth week in a row. What's going on? Also, this week, I didn't see Kulasuchus for the first, like, 24 hours. I don't know what happened. And then, yesterday, on Sunday, Kulasuchus everywhere. So, I don't know whether it's just me, but uh, usually I get a, I see a toss-up between all of them. But it was just like, Kulasuchus today. Um, so, maybe that was a mistake on their part. But, uh, you got Pteranodon, Alanqua, and Darwinopterus. Out of those, ooh, mm, well, I've got uh, like 15,000 Tranodon, so I'm probably going to go for Doranopterus because I think it has two unique hybrids that you could go for. But things, events happening, yes. Uh, we've got the Super Kawaii, uh, or, or cute um, incubators going around. So I'm assuming you'll be able to buy the cute scent. So if you are a collector and you want to have one of every scent, uh, the cute one is the only scent I do not have. We have the Nest Protector, Lunar Scent, Flightless Flock, Winter Scent, Irresistible Scent, St. Patrick's Vent, uh, St. Patrick's Vent Scent. Uh, and then you got all of them, Amphibian, Ancalosauridia, Apex Pre all this like stuff that they put in. And then Lord Lothonix and Goat Special Scent, or Goat Scent Special. Uh, I think I am literally only missing one. I, I could be wrong, but I think there's only one. I don't know how people got multiple Lithornex scents. I only, I think there was only one event to get. Well, maybe you think you could buy one. Uh, either way, if you are a scent collector, probably your time to buy one. Um, also, do remember if you are doing the battles for the scents, uh, make sure that you haven't already maxed up. So you haven't got two out of two. Uh, if you're about to maybe get a new scent, make sure to set one off before you, because you'll just end up wasting it. And uh, on Friday, the big day, big day Friday, you've got three Four incubators to get. You've got one common one, one, oh, well, is it medium? Beginner? You, so you've got one friendly, two beginners, um, and a master, which is the hardest one, for 500 guaranteed Titanoboa DNA. Uh, also, we've got, it looks like the Charger Scent. It looks like we've got Charger Scents going on. Um, out of all these days, if you're going to play, Tuesday, because there is a legendary scent, uh, sorry, a legendary incubator up for grabs. Friday, because of the Titanoboa up for grabs. Wednesday, probably, because you can get like a hundred attack mods, so or boosts get that. Uh, you definitely need that. And then Sunday, because not only are you getting um, epics, 
You've also got a expert legendary incubator. Oh, sorry, epic incubator, not legendary. I'm so confused between the two games. And we are not done there with news. No, Lydia have teased a new update coming to the game or new creatures. Maybe not necessarily a new update. The ancient creatures will be joining their brethren soon. I think these are from the Permian or Pri Pr Primean? I can't remember exactly. Uh, they predate dinosaurs. So if you've ever watched Walking with Monsters or the first episode of Walking with Dinosaurs, it's, um, I don't know what they're called. They're sort of like mammal, reptile looking creatures. They walk on all fours. I would speculate as to what's going to be coming out on the event. However, um, our beautiful Russian friends have already leaked what's coming out. So if you don't want spoilers, uh, look away now. Here they are. So we do seem to have um, three or four, I think it's, it could be five even, of those Permian dinosaurs. Uh, definitely that epic uh, looks to be something from Walking With Monsters, I think it is. It's like the last episode. Uh, we've also got another hybrid coming and it looks like it's a, it's a legendary. It looks like a dodo bird. Um, I'm assuming that one of the Klenikin, one of those rare creatures, doesn't have a hybrid and that's possibly what's getting a hybrid. So look out for that. Um, and there's a rare, there's a common, I think, no, 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 maybe that's two rares, two rares and two epics, it could be. But that isn't the only thing that has been leaked. No, everybody knows we're going for the Titana Boa hybrid. However, there is another one coming to the game and it is this thing. I don't know how to pronounce it in Russian, but there you go. I'm not even going to attempt it. Uh, but it is the Titanoboa Gen 2 and the Majungasaur hybrid. Finally, something to use our uh, Majungasaurus DNA for because God knows we've got nothing really to spend that on. Um, but it's an epic. I don't really know if it's going to be that useful. 110 speed at level 11. So, well, that's never going to change when it up upgrades. So it's not really the fastest. It's not the slowest. Already basic and outspeed most of the carnivores, most of the apexes and I think even faster than Thordor. So if maybe you just have a lot of Titanobo Gen 2, because you'll have a lot of Majungasaur hybrid, uh, it's possibly able, you might want to go for it. I don't know. But no, that isn't all we have been doing. No, 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 no. Of course, the tournament, the uh, Alliance tournament has been just pressing forward, just ever going forward. Um, and I have been loving this one. So fun. Because it's it's just so about strategy. I love it so much. Um, and at the moment, I am on rank 407. So it looks like people are really turning up the heat. I was rank 200. Yesterday, I had great luck with it. I got seven wins in a row. Oh, seven wins. However, the one I lost, I lost 40 cups. So that kind of sucks. I think I've got a really like balanced, strong team here. Uh, but before we do that, let's have a look. Have we got new dinosaurs to level up? Well, we got one pop. Will we get a 50 to try and get the Gemini Titan? Ooh, 30. Oh, maybe actually you might want to go for this guy in this week. Possibly, possibly. Um, I will just quickly have a rattle through our level 20 Sanctuary and see if I can possibly just get um, another pop of that. Because if we can get level 50, we might be able to upgrade Gemini Titan up to level 24 it is. Well, we're definitely going to get another pop at Diplodocus, but we're a little bit off on the Kula Sutures DNA. I'm going to have to waste some food there, <laughs> feeding it twice. But here we go. Is it possible? Are we going to upgrade Gemini Titan? Come on, 20. Come on, 20. You can do it. Yes. Oh, wow. We got a 50 for that. Woo. I would love a 50. Oh, no. You know what that means? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a 10, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm going to get a 20. I'm going to get a 20. Come on, 20. Come on, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Ah! Oh, you bugger, you damn it. Well, Dilophoboa, we may as well do uh, five fuses for, and that was awful. That was horrendous. Every time I do the multiple fuses, they never seem to go right for me. Okay, let's try just one normal one, shall we? Let's see what we get. We got two pops for the... Ah! Okay, maybe maybe it was just me maybe it was meant to be that way. Maybe it was meant to be that way. But two pops for Spino Constrictor. Still not going to really use this thing, but I mean... I might as well use it. I've got so much Spinosaur DNA. Let's have a look. Ooh, 30. There we go. Whoa, 110. Okay, that'll do for that one. A Lasmatherium finally reaches level 20. 
Whew. So we can start, I think, maybe working towards Model Orion. Oh no, we need 200. Now, a lot of people have said that Model Orion is horrendous. It's like one of the worst hybrids. Uh, I don't know about that because I've never, of course, I haven't even seen the stats and I definitely haven't locked it. But uh, who knows? The aim of the game is just to unlock all the creatures and then have fun with them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so yeah, I think this thing might be what gets a hybrid. I think this this is the one that from those Russian leaks uh, we might get. So without any further ado, how about we try some tournament battles? Will he get another seven win streak? Probably not because he's recording. I'm excited. I'm excited. We got. I got this. I got this. I need to get into the 200 rank because then, or the 250, I think it is, because then you get a hundred attack boosts, a hundred uh, health boosts, and 50 speed boosts. That's 5,000 bucks worth of boosts. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, hmm. Is it a good team? Our survey says... Oh, ooh, ooh, not... Yes, I know. I'm, I'm missing some good ones like Marsupial Lion. I would really like to have, but I'll start with Kentro. Let's go. Let's start with Kentro. Ooh, a mammoth. Ooh, ooh. Good, good, good. Okay, now I've fought mammoths in the past. Of course, a lot of people have mammoths. I'm thinking he'll go for... Um, He'll go for the slowing. I think he'll go for slowing. Oh, he didn't. Ah, interesting. Okay, okay. Happy with that. I'll take it. Ooh, persistent, ferocious strike. Mm. Right. Oh, we got the counter. So, Kentrasaur. I don't think I faced anybody who uses Kentrasaur. Yeah, now he goes for it. Very good. Very well played. Expected. I thought he would do that first, actually, thinking that I'd go for Thag first. But... That's fine. Um, he's still gonna kill me uh, in one hit. One more hit. He'll go for his defense uh, armor piercing. Oh, he didn't! Why not? Oh, he might want to set up with something. That's very clever if that's what he wants to do. Okay, okay. I was hoping that I would be the one to do that and to set up and kill his mammoth in one hit with something because he would be slower. But apparently not. Okay, so what's he gonna set up with? Ooh, very good. Very good. That's a good one to set up with. Um, right. Okay. 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 I'll do this anyway, just so maybe... Oh, he'll probably go for cleansing though, won't he? Yeah. <laughs> he'll probably go for cleansing. Yeah, okay. So far, I've seen a lot of these dinosaurs. A lot of these creatures fight in teams. So, my choices are... I could... With 2,800, uh, I think I'm probably best just going for a Lasma and bleeding him out. I think that's the best thing I can do. Go for a bleed out and then definitive rampage or possibly decelerating, depending on how much health he's got left. He's probably gonna have enough to survive that though. Uh, rendering takedown, really? I, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. I really wouldn't have done that. Uh, okay, so there we go. Now, I'm safe from a Sinoceratops switching, which is probably what's gonna happen. Or a Maya saw switch in. Uh, out of... Oh, yeah, I think I've lost this one. I think I lost this one. I got unlucky with the uh, the Allosaur swapping in there. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, huh, yeah, I've, yeah I, think I, I think I've lost this one. Yeah, he's going to go into Rampage. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. He got a good team. He got his good team in there. Um, I'm trying to think, what does he have? Superiority strike. Um, hmm, am I? Is Smilodon immune to... No, he's not. Okay. Right. So, we're going to go first. We're just going to nullify him. He might even super superiority strike us uh, just to get rid of that nullification um, and slow us down. That would be a good choice for him. Uh, yes, this guy knows exactly what they're doing. Very well played. Uh, then he'll go for Rampage and Run. Um, I think. I think he'll do that. I don't think, has he got instant rampage? If he's got instant rampage, he might be able to kill me. <laughs> oh, it's a cooldown of two. It's a cooldown of two. So he's probably went for impact and run, I think it is. Has he went for impact and run? Oh no, another superiority strike. Interesting. Oh yeah. Shall, you know what? We've, we've lost this one. There really isn't much point, uh, but you know what? I'll switch to the mammoth. He's still got, I think, two creatures we have not seen. He's probably gonna go for instant charge. Yep, there it is. Instant rampage. Oh, and he gets a crit. 
Get a crew with the 5%. I was meant to lose this one. I think it's uh, pretty safe to say I was meant to lose this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought Allosaurus will come in. What he'll do now is, uh, I don't think this guy's dead. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He'll, he'll swap back in with Myasaura. And, oh no, okay, let's see. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. If it's a turtle, ooh, that's not good. Oh yeah, well well played, well played. He did good, he, he, he got a good team there. Completely counted my team. One, I don't, like, I don't mind losing in this because it is a lot to do with skill. There's still a lot with luck, but um, what I, ah, I'm losing 20 cups. Happy with that, happy. So obviously they were really high up, really high up. So I'm happy losing that. Uh, what the players I don't like facing are players that rely on switching, switch-ins. Um, I've only ever, ever had to do that once. Uh, which is just sw switching and sign up, switching and sign up, switching and sign up. Because I was like, I, I want to win this one. <laughs> um, but it's a lot when it's like Maya, Triceratops, or Sinoceratops, all in one team. And the uh, strategy is to swap in, swap in, swap in, swap in. Uh, I find that a bit annoying. Um, that's would with anybody. So, uh, my super lion, great. Sinoceratops, great. Okay, this this is better. Now, I'm going to start with Smilodon, just because he's going to be faster than a lot of things. Um, including Marsupial Lion. This, for him, was not a good matchup. Um, he's, he could even go for Prowl here, but that would mean that he would... Oh, he's swapping. Oh, Carbon Nevis. Now, we've got our own Marsupial Lion. Uh, this is still going to do a lot of damage to him. Um, now, I'm tempted. He's, he's probably... Can he go for Diggin straight away? He can. He might go for Diggin straight away. And if he does go for Diggin straight away, uh, might as well just swap, swap to my Marsupial Lion. The main reason why I have Marsupial Lion is to take on this guy. Now, he's still one move away from devastating... Uh, devastation, I think it's called. That attack that does three times damage. He's probably going to go for... Oh, no, he's not. Oh, very well played. Very well played. Actually used that uh, vulnerability uh, to its advantage there. Well played. Okay, okay. So if I lose my super line, is there anything else that can take out... Um, yes, Mammoth can take out the turtle. So I don't need to worry. I don't need to worry about the turtle. That's in his slot against me. That's a waste for him. Right, okay. So now he's going to go for instant charge. Um, just to make sure that he doesn't die next turn. Uh, with that in mind, um, let's just go for uh, Prowl because he's definitely going to go for instant charge. And we may even negate some of that um, some of that attack that's coming in. I'm assuming that's what he's going to do. Yeah, he would just want to do as much damage as he can. Worst case scenario, we just take the normal hit, which we do because this game is the way it is sometimes. <laughs> um, oh no, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. That was, that was stupid. That was really stupid of me. Fuck <laughs> you. Time would you like your own medicine? Here we go. Whoosh! And do we stun him? No, okay, good. Okay, now we just gotta click as fast as we can, fast as we can, fast as we can. And it's not coming up, and there we go. Okay. Dig in. Okay, that's fine. Um, now, what's the cooldown on his rap delay? Cooldown two. Okay, so he still can't use it. He's dead next turn, so he's probably gonna swap out. I'm gonna assume he's gonna go for his marsupial lion, so uh, I'm just gonna go for my instant charge. Because chances are he's probably going to swap into something. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose it. Doesn't want to lose it. So Carbonemma still hasn't went for his dig in. Um, now, this is this is going to be interesting. Watch. I think I'm going to do, as long as I get this done. I'm going to do an interesting play here. Watch. So I'm going to switch to Marsupial Lion. Uh, and then he's going to take this as an opportunity to switch back into his Sinoceratops and finish it off. However, I'm going to instantly switch back into Sinoceratops. And finish his Sinoceratops with my Sinoceratops. Just watch. <laughs> Please tell me I go first. Yes! <laughs> that was predictable. That was predictable. Um, saw that coming. Okay, so what could he take out with his... You know, what, what could he use to take out mine? A marsupial lion, really? Okay. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So minor rendering, fair enough. Hopefully he goes for Prowl and makes the same mistake I did. <laughs> that would be great. Go for Prowl. And I'll get this stun on you. Go on. Go on. Uh, I could go for Digging here. Um, wait, what? 
What's he doing? What's this guy doing? What's he doing? All right. Okay. Uh, fair enough. If you get stunned here. Okay. This is not looking good for his turtle. It really isn't. Um, I mean, what I could have done there is swapped a marsupialite. I could have. But I want to take this time to just regenerate the health on my Sino. Just because it's needed. It's needed. Um, now, what could I fodder off here? I think Smilodon doesn't seem to have much use. Um... So maybe I'll just, I'll have Smilodon take a superiority hit. I think this match is going to take a while. I'm so sorry, but I think I've won this. Oh, he goes for his own dig in. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, wants to regenerate that health on his Carbonemis. That's all fair in my books. Um, now we're going to... <laughs> It's armor piercing. It's a shame that his shield's up, but it's still a fair chunk of damage. Oh, finally, we don't get lucky. We don't get lucky with that. 2,000 damage coming in. Um, right. We can't switch out, so we may as well just go for a dig in. Oh, this is, this is horrendous. I do apologize. I could have finished his turtle or at least done a lot of damage if I swapped him on Marsupial Lion at that right time. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, so we're just gonna have to go for an instant charge here. He's fast, actually. Mm, all right. Oh, oh, this is what I was waiting for. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. I just wanted an opportunity to stun him and be able to swap something in. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. Uh, Marsupial line, I don't mind losing. Uh, just as long as we do, like, a big hit. There we go. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. So Marsupial lion uh, will do a big hit. And then Sinoceratops can switch in and then do the armor piercing swap in and do a lot of damage. He may even swap in his own marsupial line predicting mine and just wanting to take it out. Um, did he? He did. Is it marsupial line? Oh, he's not showing the rest of his team. Okay. So let's just click as fast as we can. As fast as we can. As fast as we can. There we go. Ha ha! Suck it! Bam! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, I was going to say, yeah, there we go. Right. Okay, so, uh, what do we go for here? I think we go for a Smilodon, go for the charge, take, you know, hurt the, um, hurt the turtle, and then uh, switch in Sino to finally finish the turtle. I have only ever seen Marsupial Lion and flipping the turtle, and he just keeps on swapping him in, which makes me believe that his other uh, dinosaur or other creature isn't very good. So that's a big chunk, 1,000 off of you. And then we swap in to the Sinoceratops, do a big hit on that. There you go, armor piercing, 950. Do we get the stun? Yes, we do. Uh, okay. Um, next, what do we go for here? What do we go for? Superiority? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll slow him down, we'll slow him down. This is what we want, this is what we want. Next turn, oh, he gets a crit. He's gonna go for his um, his dig in here, which is good. I would think he's gonna go for his dig in, knowing I've got instant charge. Oh, oh, it's a Seko. Oh, very nice, okay. Right, hmm, <laughs> Right, this is the play, this is the play, this is the play. Smilodon comes in. Smilodon does pounce, or the, the instant pounce. Um, or precise pounce, isn't it? We're not dead from a crit. We're not dead from a crit. Almost dead, but we're not quite dead. We go for this. This will kill him exactly in one hit, actually. Um, his, his marsupial lion's health isn't looking too great. His carbon emma's health is definitely not looking too great. It's almost dead. His Segadonosaurus is dead, meaning that's all he's got left. He's only got his marsupial lion and his turtle. He can't switch in his turtle. Um, uh, his marsupial lion will be forced to come in. Uh, it's going to take a big hit from my... Um, this. This is it. There we've won. We've won. There is nothing he can do. I'll swap in my mammoth and then swap in Sino. And the Sino kills both of them in one hit. Now... Not always does a match last this long, but in this case, it did. Good God, did it. <laughs> they were swapping Sino and that's it. Well played, well played. Now, 
that was a good team versus a... Uh, like, those teams were equally balanced. It could have went either way. If I'd played any differently, I could have easily lost that. So easy. And that's why I like this. I'm, I, I'm sick now of playing regular battles where it just... It just feels like it's it's whoever has the most boosts, whoever has the highest level creature. It's not fair, because it isn't, because it's all about, you know, leveling. And that's what the game is, leveling up your creatures. And you sometimes you face someone who you just absolutely trounce. Sometimes you're the one that gets absolutely trounced. It's fair, I guess. But then they put boosts in, and boosts sucked, and here we are. So, same team again, except for we don't have Sino. So, this is interesting. How are we going to play this? Ah, this is a good one to start with. A really good one to start with. Um, because it can go for a big hit. Like, 2,000 and odd with the impact and run. Again, you're... You're, you're betting on your... There you go, exactly. That's what you're betting on. You're betting on getting that evasive. I've seen it used um, a few times. Let's see. Now, Kendrasaur is 120 speed. Oh, and unfortunately, but he's happy with that. He's either happy with that or he's annoyed with that because now he might be able to set up with something. Oh, wait, what? Oh, aha! Let's trick him. He is going to go for um, his instant rampage. I think he could be playing me and go for his superiority. Ah, there you go! Oh, bless him! Oh, that sucks. That sucks. If I was him, I would have just went for superiority and the next turn went for the instant rampage. That's what I would have done. Uh, okay. That's not how he wanted that to go. Um, oh, he has... Wow! Okay. So he's wanting that... I don't know why he put in Maya Saw first. He just thought he could go for the instant charge, didn't he? That's what he thought he could go for. Um, right. Right. How do we play this? Uh, Kenvasaur is good, um, but it's not amazing. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a hit here. Um, I'm gonna try to whittle down this turtle down to its lowest health it can go, and must be aligning it. Chances are he's gonna switch to Myasaur. I wouldn't be surprised if in his full roster he had a Sinoceratops in waiting. So he's gonna go for digging. Who didn't see that coming? Um, I'm just going to try now just to go for just two superiorities. And how much health did he get? 885. Okay, so now we do 279. And next hit we do how much? Well, either way, we're dead. But how much is that? 5067. Okay, he got like 200 health there, I think. About 200. Right. Now he's going to be faced with a dilemma. Um, hmm. Do I go for... I think I go for Marsupial Lion. I don't know what Myasaur's speed is. In fact, you know what? I think Myasaur's speed slower than Smilodon. I think it is. And because he can't go for Dig In now, let's just do a big hit on him. Let's just do a big hit on him. Oh, 1,119. He's going to go for the vulnerability. That's fair enough. That's fair. Now, I think he can kill me with my assault with an instant rampage. I think he can. Um, what's he going to go for? He's probably going to go for that big hit, isn't he? Uh, okay. Now, I need to save Smilodon. I really do. I need to save Smilodon. I need to hope that... Um, Oh, wow. He just wanted to make sure that his Myasaur could take me out. Interesting. Okay. Um, what should we go for here? What should we go for? I think we should go for Bellow. Because he's just going to try and do a big hit to me now. That's what he's going to do. He's going to go for Devastation. Is it predictable? It is predictable. Okay. So oh, and he got a crit! Ah! Right, now he's going to swap into Myasaur. Um, I'm assuming he's going to swap into Myasaur. No, he goes for Dig In. Interesting to cleanse himself. Ooh, it's a tight one, this one. I get a feeling it's going in his his favor, though. Ah, that's, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that feeling. Oh, we get a crit. Not that it really matters. Because he's just going to swap in. He's going to swap in his... 
uh, Myasaura, I think. Yeah, in comes Myasaura. Right, now chances are he... Don't get the stun, please! Yes! Yes! He's dead! <laughs> please be dead! Please be dead! <laughs> Suck it! Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy! Oh, that makes me so... You have no idea. I'm, I'm so sick uh, of that happening. So, you know what I'm going to do? Because i got one cooldown of that. I'm just going to go for Bello. If he's smart, he should have went for his armor piercing and done 1,300. Okay, that was really bad on my part. That was really bad on my part. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Okay, so what does he have? He has the turtle and he has Diplodocus. Um, he's pretty much dead no matter what. Marsupialion kills Diplodocus in two hits and his turtle's dead in one hit. So he's done. There's not what he could do. He can't decelerate me because I'm immune to it. Well played. That was a good game. That was touch. That was really touch and go for a while that I thought I was done. Can he kill me? Yeah, he can't go for another one. And he might survive. I have a 40% chance to crit. Either way, he's, he's lost. If I get a crit here, I've killed him this turn. I haven't killed him this turn. But he's dead on the counter. Okay. That was good. That was really good. Whew. Again. It's like, it's like fighting tooth and nail with this tournament, man. Good God. But I would rather this be the case because, like I said... Good game, Honey Mustard. You did really well. Like I said, if I had played that any differently, it would have it turned out completely different. Um, but seeing as this video is now like 36 minutes long... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Uh, but if you enjoy this video, I will continue to keep on fighting. I think within an hour, I think it stops counting them. I'm not sure, like your your ranks. But I I do want to try and go for that 100, 100 each. It's doable if I have the time, definitely. But if you enjoy this video, leave a like until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye